Okay. So I got ideas about air conditioner units for this trailer. Um, we have rooftop units. <coughs> so basically, just like a camper, you got your trailer, you got a little rooftop unit that goes on top, and uh, you can get some with heater strips or whatever. That works great. The problem is they're six hundred to a thousand dollars, and also um, they're visible, highly visible. Yeah, having a stealth camper, uh, I don't want that. Next option is, well, let's see, we got to do the little V nose here. Next option is is a window unit. Now the advantage of a window unit is two hundred to four hundred dollars. You can get you a decent window unit to cool the whole thing off. The problem is, say, all right, let's do it this way. There's there's a couple of different ways to go about it. Okay, so this is top down view. Say this is your trailer. Now what I've seen some people do is put the air conditioner in the inside like here, build you some shelving, put you a vent here, and a vent here with some sort of fans and a drain. So your air conditioner is inside the trailer and it pulls in air and blows it back out. Now on the outside you would just have vents. So that's pretty discreet. Another way you could do it, I've seen done is just cut a hole in the wall and have your air conditioner unit the head uh, the outside of it sticking here inside here and then <clears throat> the problem you would have is driving down the road all these bugs hitting it filling this up but what you can do is make you a um, make you a box or get somebody to make you a box that seals around it uh, the same type of uh, diamond metal looking stuff so you can build you a box and put around it when you're not traveling when you get somewhere or whatever but you still have this sticking yeah, out here. Right. Single unit with one hose. Okay, it pulls like the, the unit I had pulled the air in from the side, blew it across the hot coils, and then it vented out. Um, and then it has another set of coils where it pulls it in and then blows it across the cool, cold coils. The problem is you've got to have some kind of air coming into this thing, so it's going to create all kinds of suction and negative pressure in here. If you, you put a hole in the ground for to get air in, you're going to be pulling in hot air. So to fix that on a previous video, I took and, and basically had my air conditioner and I built a return box that butted up next to it, cut the hole there, covered it up so that hot air from outside came in and blew right back out. Now for this new unit, if I did a portable AC like I've done in the past, whether it be in the front or the back, um, I was going to take your unit and get a dual hose set up. So where it has two hoses on the back, so basically you got an input line and an output line. Um, and what that's going to do is that will keep you keep the pressure right and uh, you're pulling in air and pushing it back out and it's not affecting your inside air. That's probably how I want to do this setup. But I want to see what you guys thought.